You know, if I was to describe this film, I got like I want to set the mood for you guys. So the very beginning, so there's this one scene where the Marvels decide to travel to this planet where everybody decides to just start singing like they're a part of a Disney film. And then and then immediately the prince comes in, starts singing, and then the next moment you see Blair Larson just change literally into a Disney princess. She literally turns into a fucking princess and then she literally sings to him about wanting to get some shit from him. It's like... What? I feel suddenly just loses his fucking shit. Very immediately. So it just confirms that in the Captain Marvel's the first ever Disney princess of the MCU or that Captain Marvel's a literal Disney princess now. It's like it's like this film literally lost its fucking shit throughout so many moments man. It's like I wouldn't say it's the worst film the MCU's had but this film is completely off the wheels man. Like it loses its fucking crap. Just, oh my god what to even begin? I'm just going to tell you all the sh- all the stuff that I found really crazy. So, you know, there's this planet called Hela, in which the tree, that's where they live, of course. I never knew because I don't give a shit about the lore of Captain Marvel because I honestly believe that Captain Marvel is a boring character and her s- sub franchise is boring. And uh, apparently, like. They've been sabotaged by Captain Marvel, pretty much destroyed the AI, which is directly to each of Captain Marvel. So now these guys literally have to inhabit this poisonous land, whatever, in the sense that they don't have any other planet. So they have problems with the scrolls in their own place, and they're just a bunch of refugees again. Well, anyway, when I saw that scene, I was just like, this, this, this oddly reminds me of Killzone. And the way the hell gas start portrayed and pretty much being forced out of a ritual planet, then they're put in this planet where they just pretty much get mutated and are reciting the poison landscapes, but they have to adapt to it. It's like to me or is this film take pages from kills them. I know it's reviews going places, but really, really this film is just a film that has no idea what it's what it, what it even is. And it feels such like a waste, man. It's like, this film's weird. That's all I gotta say. Like, what other scene, man? Oh, yeah. And also, they have this creative strategy of uh, saving everybody from this crashing ship. Like, they just need to create some conflict with Kamala's family being inside uh, Fury's own ship. So, they had a scene in which all of the people they have to literally get eaten alive by a bunch of alien Lovecraftian alien cats an army of them and, and it's meant to be all and then they play this really fancy music and shit making it to be all funny and shit but in reality you just see the scenes of all these people just running for their fucking lives literally screaming in panic and terror while this guy in the calm is all like you should calm down you're meant to be really let yourself be eaten by this Lovecrafting cats of death so that they will save you and it's like I'm just seeing a scene where people are running for their fucking lives trying not to get devoured by a fucking cat man let's play for laughs and I'm just like it's not funny it's horrific even the way they just get mailed in and something is really fucking gross and like oh jeez it's meant to be funny what the fuck and oh yeah also the the main bad guy of the film I forgot her name. She honestly is the worst thing about this fucking movie. She is the worst. 200% the worst thing about this stupid film. She's the worst. Like, she literally has zero personality besides being Roland the Accuser. But without... But I mean, like, at least Roman, he looks... He looks cool as shit, you know? The badass... Badass, like, priest... Angry priest monk look. You know? He was talking about all his death shit. He's actually kind of an intimidating dude. Well, this woman, I have no idea who the fuck she is. This guy. 
like, I don't know, like, all she is is all about, I need to save the planet, whatever, she's all about the sun, it's like, I don't know anything about, she's just so plain, like, I don't, like, what, what interesting did, did she do throughout this whole film, well, she acted like a fucking degenerate, like, like, her acting is the worst, she had such an annoying presence, like, she's trying to hard to sound evil, she comes across as corny, not the interesting about her. The way she fights and the way and the way she loses that is that it's like Kamala literally gets her fucking haze, face planted with her hammer. And then she removes the fucking bracelet that Kamala Khan had in her right hand. Then she wore both and then Captain Marvel was all like, No, don't do it. It's too much. You're not going to survive. And she's like, Yeah, so yeah, say what, bitch? So what, bitch? And then she just does it, and then she just immediately evaporates, and nobody comments. She just dies. And it made me go, then why couldn't they have just given her those fucking bracelets to her ever since? Because they know that thing's going to kill her. From the ship, they just realized that that's what happened. So it's like, why not excuse your plan where they give it to her? And then she fucking dies. Bam! Problem solved. The film wouldn't have been wouldn't have been over within 30 minutes, man. Instead, he just wasted so much time fighting. It's like this, this whole final third act is such a waste of time. It's just a stupid setup for like the whole like oh yeah multiverse thing. Like the whole setup that oh yeah indeed the X Men they do exist, but they live in their own universe. So instead of the MCU doing this thing where they have to make some contrived reason why people discriminate against mutants, not superheroes. It's just like, it's literally just the original X-Men universe. Like, 20th Century Fox is X-Men in their own universe, and that's it. And I'm like, that's okay. I mean, that's the most sensible thing to do without making them seem even more of a mess. So the, X- so the X-Men are just their own universe, which I think Deadpool 3 might be like, set within that one universe that this film's post credit scene is about, and I'm like, I guess that's the news we talk about how this means a lot for them to you like yeah it does it means x-men does does exist but is in a multiverse and that actually the black chick like rambo she she's pretty much gonna be the vessel for exploring the new x-men universe and i'm like oh they finally made this rambo chick a chick i literally could not give a shit about into somebody who's actually kind of important i mean that's okay and that's the only after credit scene. Like, for some reason, after the cred scene, you just hear some weird moaning shit from the cat, and I was like, what the fuck is that? Then the film just ends, and I was like, what the fuck? Man, okay, so those are the things I've seen that I think about the film. I think it's pretty shit with the writing. Oh, yeah, like, it's... Yeah, I think the best thing about the film so far, it has to do with, uh... Kamala Khan, she's the best, she's the heart and soul of the film, she's absolutely adorable, as she's pretty much just a fangirl, comic book nerd, pretty much being excited that she's going to be in this saving the world situation, she ends up being like, oh man, I actually want to see her more MCU films, I mean, I haven't seen her TV shows, my first introduction, I'm like, yeah, even though she's great in this film, I don't want to watch her TV show, because I'm like, it sounds like a waste of time. Because that show is mainly meant for kids, but then it's ironic me saying that because this film literally does feel very, very kiddish. So I don't know why I'm saying that. It's just a bit of irony. But even so, it's like, I don't know. Captain Marvel, actually, she's a whatever character, but. Sorry, I'm just so full of me and a full of large pizza, large Papa John's pizza. Captain Marvel? I thought she was forgettable, but I'm like, I did notice that she has a lot more emotion in her actions, so like she's actually putting in the effort now, but she still comes across like a wooden stone, so she's not interesting at all. Nothing about her is interesting, but at least she's putting some effort now. The action in this film is actually pretty okay, though. Like, surprisingly decent, in the sense that it's like... It's well shot, well choreographed, but man, that whole switch rule thing, like it's a Lego video game, it's like, it becomes a bit of a mess, which is the point, though, it's a complete clusterfuck of shit happening. 
Like the first action scene with the music, I'm like, yeah, that's definitely the highlight action sequence of the film. I understand why it's used. I, I just, I kind of like the chaos of the whole action. It was pretty fun. But I also made it to a problem because it just made it so confusing for the audience to adjust to what's happening going on. So it was a double-edged sword. But even so, it was, uh, it was, that show was decent. The film looked okay. It wasn't the worst. Samuel Jackson, he was pretty much a complete idiot. And they don't even reference what happened in Secret Evasion. So one of my biggest problems with this movie is that they don't reference Secret Evasion at all. They're going to reference the skulls that there's a literal manhunt towards every scroll in, in, in America. There's no reference to that. He doesn't even reference his fucking wife. Not even once. You don't see a reference to his wife. You don't even see his wife in this film. It's like, so what's the point of watching Secret Evasion if it's going to mean nothing? And then I'm going to watch that second Echo show. And then I'm going to reference the whole scroll thing. It's like, that's a huge fucking thing that you could not just ignore. That there's a fucking manhunt towards scrolls, which means people are just going to be killing each other in the street. Come on, man. It's like the MCU is a complete mess with its writing. That I think the MCU might need to slow it down and just make a fucking full on reboot. Because it's like, I, even I'm lost to what's happening in MCU right now. And always forget that, it's the, that at the end of this universe is like... It's like, jeez, so much shit happened, changed, like... It's like... I don't even know what to say, man. MCU is a complete clusterfuck right now. Like, man... Man, I don't even know, man. It's like, what, what else is there to say about this movie besides that it's a clusterfuck? This film's a clusterfuck beyond imagining. <laughs> and I kind of regret by... I mean, I, I did kind of enjoy the IMAX screening, but it's like... When I was there, there was only like maybe four or so people... Watching the movie. Like only four, no, five people were watching the film in my IMAX screening. This is like opening day. An MCU film with barely anybody joining to watch is absolutely nuts. That's like... Holy shit, this film's a mess. Like, it did not even need to be made. I understand why this film is bombing at the box office. It's pretty much, like, up there with pretty much The Flash and Blue Beetle just being films that nobody remembers at all. And I'm like, I can't blame anybody. Who will remember a film like this? I won't remember it. I mean, I'm probably going to talk about it with my family and friends about it. But now I'm just like, this one's a waste. But I do hope that Miss Marvel comes for more MCU projects because she's fun. Oh yeah, and also the film has some cameos. I mean, all the cameos are just exclusively women, by the way. Which is not surprising. This film is a very, very female-centric movie. So of course they chose only the female ones. And I'm like, these guys did their own, their own fucking clown world. And I just noticed Elia, the cameos are like Valkyrie and Kate Bishop. So essentially... Like, I just noticed that Valkyrie has the most amount of cameos of any MCU character alongside Wong. It's like, why Valkyrie? She's such an annoying, outstanding character. I don't like her. You know, actress player, she is hot as fuck. I think she's just annoying. And then they have Kate Bishop, and I was like, man, if I did not watch the Hawkeye TV show, I would have been like, who the fuck is this chick? Is that Hawkeye's daughter? It's like, what the fuck? Like, who, why did he send me up this for? Probably it's gonna be like a Young Justice type of team. I'm like, I don't care. I, I don't care. Who gives a fuck? Like, who gives a lightning fuck about this? Nobody cares. I mean, until the Thunderbolts come out, which is probably gonna be like Marvel Suicide Squad. I'm like, yeah. I don't really care. So yeah, this film... Oh yeah, Rambo. Oh yeah, so I did mention about Rambo, but who cares about Rambo? Because she's such a whatever character. She just exists. She existed in Wanda Vision exists here. Her power is that she's pretty much a ghost. But not interesting. But yeah, this film. Gave it like a 6 out of 10. The action is pretty alright. There's some creativity there. But overall, the, the script, dialogue, everything is pretty meh. And I think having a forgettable film is worse than having a bad film. This film is not bad. 
like everybody's saying it is, but it's immensely mediocre and forgettable. That's how I describe it. Mediocre, forgettable. Like, I'd rather watch The Room 20 times to watch this shit. Even on Disney Plus, I just ignore it. So I'm going to get myself some McDonald's and... I don't know, sign out. I'm peace out. If you like the video, please get a like, comment, sub. That would be cool. And I am freezing. I'm so full, I can barely feel my stomach. Because I had an entire large pizza. Like, large two-topping pizza. In Papa John's over there. They have amazing deals, like six pounds for a large pizza. It's a great deal. So I decided to buy that. And I ate that throughout the whole film, and now I'm full as fuck. I barely feel my stomach. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm going to get myself. Maybe that Philly cheese stack, but it's like... I'm not doing that. I'm too fucking full. I'm, I'm full as fuck. That pizza... Baby, so full that I'm like, I'm not even going to eat dinner tonight. Just going to be eating like, I'm going to get some toffee apple pie. And then that's it. Because toffee apple pie, McDonald's, super good shit. But yeah, I'm going to sign off. See you guys soon.